This is Mike Cobb and you're listening to Mike Cobb Talks. Well, I told you that I would do these type of videos, discussion types, and uh, I'm finally doing one. This one's been on my mind for a while. How do you balance gym with everyday life? And especially in a college type scenario, it's kind of hard to do that. You got classes, you got to do socialize. And if you go to the gym, many people will make fun of you for that's all you're doing. Number one, don't listen to anything that anyone says. Do what you want to do. You, uh, you make the sacrifices to better yourself and all that stuff. You don't listen to other people to, so you can gain what they want you to do. You do what you want to do. If you want to go to the gym, kudos for you. That, that is a big step that many people have not done because they say, oh, I'm going to put it off to the next day. And then the next day after that. And then really, when they say they're going later on, that most likely turns to never. And um, I've seen that in a lot of experiences. But um, overall, overall, do what you want to do. Um, don't be scared to be judged by other people. I get judged all the time for going to the gym and uh, doing that. Gym for me is something more than just gym. It helps me relieve my stress and when I put those earphones in um, it just takes me to a different planet I'm there with my thoughts I think a lot um, and you get the benefit of your body too but it really is uh, the atmosphere of it it really changes the aspect of how you do things um, because when I put those earphones in it's it's really me and my thoughts and what I can do, what what benefits me, I think about all those kind of things, and um, it really is a very compelling uh, argument when people say, "Oh, the gym's nothing, 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 nothing." You just go to the gym to make yourself look good, but no, that's really not. Without gym for me, it 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 really like almost like kind of saved my life because I had no clue what I was doing. I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life, and that was back in like ninth to tenth. You shouldn't really be thinking about those things, but I always did. Like, what am I gonna do with my life? Um, so when when I started going to the gym, it really changed the way I thought about life. And you don't you don't make sacrifices for other people. You make sacrifices for yourself. And if you start now making those sacrifices to better yourself in the future then you you have a good concept on life because what will happen is over time you won't do those sacrifices that you should have done in the younger days and when you get older you're going to be making sacrifices for things you don't want don't waste your life on something you do not want to do for example me my contemplating issues with my gym and business yes I like business, but fitness is like up here because I'm very passionate about fitness. Fitness to me is one of the main things that drives me to keep going every day. If I didn't have the gym every day, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. It 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 really changes you, and and uh, don't don't sit back on something because you don't want to do it, or you scared you're gonna be judged. Not don't want to do it, but scared you're going to be judged. You you have to. Uh, make those sacrifices so you can uh, so you know you can uh, get the things you want in life uh, one of the best quotes that I have probably been told well not been told that I watched in a movie actually it was a Denzel Washington movie so you know it's compelling enough when Denzel Washington says it it gives you goosebumps when he says it he's that good of an actor not trying to endorse him or anything but he he's a one he He's pretty good, but the quote goes like this. There, there are two important days in your life. Number one is the day you were born, and then number two is finding out the reason why. So 
If you feel like you know what you're gonna do with your life, go for it. Do not listen to other people and tell and listen to what they want you to do. If you want to do gym, if you want to do this or that or that, do that. Don't listen to other people is what my main concept of this conversation is. You have to listen to yourself and um, that will go a long ways in any situation. You will gain self-confidence. You will, you will gain so much. Me going to the gym every day, despite what people said, has built my confidence up. Because the people in the gym knows what you have done. They see you walk in every day, put your 100% in, and try to get extra reps. They see that. They know you're taking it seriously. And then they will start asking you, hey, what kind of stuff do you do? I get this all the time at my old gym in um, Albany. Tony's gym, very good gym, very good people, everything like that. But people started coming up to me as I started bulking up, gaining muscle, when I started taking it super seriously, strict dieting, all that stuff. They started coming up to me saying, hey man, how do you do this? Uh, this is like hard compared to what I do. Um, and I just tell them straight up, the same thing I'm telling you guys right now, is um, that's how I'm gonna live life from now on, and I hope you guys live life like that from now on. Don't listen to other people. Um, I've been told in my past, when I was like six or seven, I was told that I was not able to talk correctly. I was, they told me I would not be able to talk correctly because there's nothing they could do and it was an unsolvable issue. Well, look at me now. I am speaking, bitch, to all those people that told me differently. I am speaking and yes, there's some things I can't say, but I'm pretty positive that almost anyone on this planet is, has something they can't say. But uh, I have overcome that and that just shows that you can overcome anything you put your mind to. You set a goal in your head and you, you basically get it done. That's what you do. You get it done and then you will finally see it come to life. And uh, when you see that, you will set a bigger goal for yourself. Just like in the gym, and when you see the weights, um, you're gonna be like, hey, I wanna do that weight one day. You get to that weight, and then after that weight, you look at the next set of weights. You look at this next set of weights, and you be like, I wanna get to that. And then you keep setting that goal, until eventually you max out the whole rack. And when you max out the whole rack, that's when they're gonna have to start ordering stuff for you, cause you've done too much. You have over exceeded everybody. And that is nothing wrong with it. Over exceeding is something that most people do not do in this planet, is over exceed. People want to be average. People want to stay in the lines of what society tells them to do. I'm telling you differently. I'm telling you to go out of your way. I'm telling you to not listen to other people. I'm telling you to strive to be better than everyone else. Don't say I want to be like, let's just say for example, Who's this? Kobe Bryant. All right, let's use this example. Don't say you want to be like Kobe Bryant. In my case, say you want to be like Mike Cobb. That's who you want to be like. You want to be yourself. You don't want to follow nobody else. You don't want to do any of that. You want to follow yourself. And um, this, is, um, this is a big leading problem that people have is not doing that they don't want they want to be average they want to be like other people but the way to make it is to be yourself many of the top guys in industries basketball all that stuff basketball gym they all have their own unique set of things that made them who they are without that they might not be the same so they made something that they were good at and they took it and profited off of it basically it's hard to sometimes do that in college you know like going to the gym all that stuff because you're gonna have people that be like why are you not drinking every day why are you not doing this why are you not socializing with me why are you eating like that why are you blah 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 it's because i'm benefiting myself i'm not here for other people you gotta realize that when you're doing something you better do it for yourself not for other people when you go to college, do it for yourself. If you don't think you're ready for college or you don't think that you benefit from college, don't go to college. 
it's that simple. If you don't feel like you're gonna be using that business degree or biology degree, whatever degree you have, if you have something in the back of your mind that you really wanna do, set out young, set out while you're young and try to do that because you won't have that opportunity in the future. You will, you will start leading a life that you do not want. And then you will start making sacrifices for that life that you do not want. And that's gonna make you feel pretty crappy, isn't it? That's gonna make you feel really crappy. So when you do something that you actually love and passionate about, money is not gonna be a problem because you're still enjoying it. As long as you got a place to stay, you're enjoying it. I could live in the gym if I wanted to. The gym atmosphere is the best thing I have ever experienced. Everyone has their own individual goals. And no one, no one really can tell you what to do in the gym. You listen to other people, you gain their knowledge of what you should be doing on techniques and stuff, but a coach isn't gonna be in there saying, hey, you're doing that wrong, get you off the team, all that stuff. Gym is like fitness, gym, all the same thing almost. It's, it's a, uh, it's individual set goals. So you can do however you want and you can make a name for yourself however you want. It's individual goals that set you apart from other people and you will be noticed. The main question is how do you balance college or life with gym? There's not really no way you can. You, you're gonna have to put the time in in the gym to see results. And this is, the reason why I say it like that is because the gym is not just go there for two hours and be done or however long you stay in the gym. You can, you can do a 25 minute workout and still be good. But what I'm saying is you can't really balance life with what society wants and still lead an average life because you got to still stay on the grind at home in the kitchen. And when I say that is that if you want to look like if you want to build that muscle you can't be eating junk food and all that stuff that people have at parties you can't do that and you can't drink you can't do any of that you got to drink water strictly water and occasion occasional you can put packets in the water to make it taste good but you can't be drinking soda all that stuff for number one that's bad for your kidneys but number two it makes you look it makes you look bad it makes you look your body starts adjusting to that I don't know how the, I don't know the whole process, but something in the coke and stuff uh, deteriorates the, um, the bones or something like that. But anyways, you can't just lead an average life when you do the gym. Is That's my point. You have to be dedicated to this. You really do. So anyone that's going to just say, oh, I'm going to go to the gym for just 40, 50 minutes, and then I'm going to go home, and I'm going to eat whatever I want because I just went to the gym, you shouldn't even go to the gym at that point. There's nothing, there's no reason to. You're just wasting time because you're not gonna see results like that. You have to be motivated. You have to be dedicated. You gotta set a goal for yourself. And when you set the goals, you will see improvements. You will. I have seen improvements. I did not look like this two, three months ago. I just now started looking like it because I changed drastically everything about what I thought about fitness and I have listened to other people that's not that's another thing I have a bad time listening to other people and their thoughts but I can still do it and you guys can too you got to listen to what other people have to say if someone says hey if they walk up to you hey you're doing that wrong let me show you this technique listen to them you might gain something out of it and that's with any situation you can you can apply that to any situation in this country and gain knowledge from someone else by them just telling you something. It's it's really, it's mind boggling at the most because you'd be like, oh, he probably don't know nothing. But then you gain something out of his knowledge. And that's that's the reason why I, one of the things that people say, school, school is not important. Knowledge is what's important. Education is what's important. If you're motivated enough to be educated and gain knowledge, you don't need school. School's a median for that. Yeah, it helps you, but if you're not interested in it, this is gonna still be the same. It's, it's gonna be the same effect if you didn't go to school. You're not gonna know anything. You have to be motivated to be educated and gain knowledge. And that school's not, school's not necessary for that. You can go and read books online. 
and gain the same amount of knowledge as if you're going to college. The college just has the degree behind it. And that's one of the things I don't like about college is the fact that it's just a piece of paper that said that you have completed the requirements to be this profession. It's not nothing like that. Someone could have cheated their whole way throughout and not been caught. So, hypothetically, someone could have been cheated their whole way and not have been caught. And guess what? They still have the degree and someone that actually may be trying to put in the time at home because they can't afford college because it's ridiculously overpriced. And uh, yeah, they're going to be a little pissed off about it because the guy that cheated all the way through don't know anything about what he just got his degree in is going to get he's going to get a job. But the guy that's not educated, well, the guy that is educated but doesn't have the degree will not get the same job as the guy that has a degree. And that's the flaw in the system of college. And um, I know I'm going off track, but I, I find this to be relevant. It's all going to tie back in the end. So the guy without the, the college experience may not get the same job, but they both, the one that is highly intellectual in learning how to educate himself and knowledge probably has more experience, even though the guy that has a degree don't have any experience because he just cheated his way through college. And uh, my point to saying is this, that you don't have to go to college to make a name for yourself. You can do that at home, you can do that, you can do that on any place in this country, any place on this planet you can make a name for yourself. You don't have to go to college. And that's the flaw in the system is that they make you believe that it is a necessity to go to college. It's not a necessity to go to college. College is just a median to college right now, in my experience, is just a bunch of people getting drunk. And then they go to class the next day with a hangover. I don't really drink, so when I see that, it just really makes me mad because these people are taking all this stuff for granted. I'm coming for knowledge. I'm coming for education. These people come in and just have a good time. And yeah, I may still not succeed in the top of the class like other people. I may not be noticed, let me say that. I may not be noticed, but the guy that gets drunk every night, the guy that gets drunk every part of the time he can, still gets that degree and may go noticed. And the people that actually try, they can go unnoticed, not all the time. Sometimes they over excel and they, show above everyone else but that's not always the case which really pisses me off but college is not for everyone some people can make a name for themselves without going to college and I know I'm in college right now so trust me on this if you think you can make a name for yourself without having to go to college do it because you're gonna be in debt for like the rest of your life and I mean that. I know, there's people I know that still paying off their debt in the 50s for college. And I'm even debating myself if I need to go to college for what I want to do. Because business, the, the business class, yeah, it's going to gain me knowledge and stuff. But do I really need it if I want to make my own business in the beginning? Will I really need it? Because I don't think so. I don't think the degree is going to help me if I'm the owner of my company. I don't think it will. Do you think it will? Because I don't. I honestly don't. So what's the point of me being in college? There's not. But if I can take all that debt that I will have and just put it to something else, I would much rather do that. Because that is what's going to make me happy. What I want to do in life is not going to have a desk job. And I want to do something with gym and fitness aspects to it. And that's not gonna, this isn't gonna help me. So my main point is, do what you want to do. Don't listen to other people. Don't be afraid not to go to college because college isn't everything. You make the most of what you can and you take advantage of the things that's in your situation. That's how I've been from the very beginning. I always believed in that. You take advantage of the stuff that's in your situation. If you can take advantage of Going to college, take advantage of it if it's not going to be costly. But if you can't, don't, don't overstress yourself and go to college. 
if you don't want to, that's of course if you if you plan on being a doctor or something, yeah, I would go to college. But if you're doing if you plan on owning your own business or doing anything like that that doesn't require the necessity of having a degree, don't go to college just to get the degree because you feel like it's a safer option. Do what you want to do. And this might not be the best advice that I can give because I have not experienced it myself. But from watching other people and stuff, I have seen a lot of people out of college, stressed out, hating their life because they went the wrong route. They took the route of what every average person goes to. And that is not me and that's not going to be me. And hopefully this talk has helped you guys realize the options you guys may have. The options that you have been debating, because I know I've been debating. I go to the gym every day and I debate this in my head. I put on some music and I debate. I debate the, the pros and cons of what I want to do. And it really helps. So think about that when you're in the gym next time. Just leave this planet and go into your database and just think. Think about what you want to do, because if you're in the 11th, 12th, it comes faster than you think. It does. It comes real fast. It hit me. I had no clue what I wanted to do back in 12th grade for college. I had no clue. I mean, I had a clue what I wanted to do with my life, which was fitness. But I, had, I was one of those people that went and did the route that everyone else did. I went to college. I, I paid into the system, you would say. I, uh, I made probably not the best decision regarding what I want to do with my life. And uh, back to the main concept, main co concluding this off, is do what you want to do and realize what you want to do and set those goals so you can see them come in action. And um, it will go a long way in life. It's not anything that's going, you may be judged, you may, you may be judged and you may be criticized, but overall though, you're going to see improvements in yourself. I hope you guys have gained some knowledge from my experiences and my own set of knowledge that I have, may or may not have, probably don't have that much. But I hope you guys gained something and if you like this video, subscribe. If you wanna leave comments down below on your opinions to this video, please do. It helps me, it helps me think about it. And like I said, extending yourself to some other guy that may have knowledge it can benefit you too so if you want to do that leave comments down below and please subscribe because there's going to be more videos like this there's going to be discussions all throughout this youtube channel and um i hope you guys enjoyed this is mike cobb and i'm gonna call this mike cobb talks so peace out youtube